What's going on guys, it's Kude here, and today we're going on Mortal Kombat using Rain, Noob Cybot, and Strike Force Scorpion. And here are the equipments we applied. You know, we're just going all out, honestly. We're, we have a bunch of brutality gear on Noob Cybot. This makes his health just insane, and I'll show you his damage. It's, it is literally insane. Uh, and then on Strike Force Scorpion, we applied his brutality equipment, and the reason why... Just because block breaker, you can get the block breaker on the specials. And for his brutality equipment, I mean, just a given. For these easy fights, we're actually going to show them this time. Because we haven't done very many videos on the Earthrealm Towers, so I'm going to show off fights 196 to 200. So let's start off with fights 196 to 200. Alright, so for this battle, it's going to be pretty easy. We just need to use SP2. And then we're gonna kill this guy off with Noob Cybot. Look how much damage he does. It's incredible. But he does get combo undered, and the only issue is that we don't have a block breaker on him. The void begins. <laughs> incredible. I love Noob Cybot. I don't even have his brutality gear. I'm planning on getting Noob Sabbath's brutality gear when the Nightmare Tower comes out, but for now, I don't even have it. He still does so much damage, even without a block breaker. Alright, so, he's probably gonna... No, he's not gonna take us out, but he might do a lot of damage. Actually, he might, he might take us out. Nope, actually, I forgot. Strike Force Scorpion comes in for the win. We're gonna apply fire, just because there is a way to apply fire on the characters that are not bosses and look at that he just did all his health and he takes no damage too oh my gosh noob saibot is invincible oh he just just shreds through these fights with the brutality gear from other towers <laughs> all right here we go that doesn't take away from the fact that this is still a coins tower all i've got from this tower is coins and rare and common equipments by the way, if you want to buy an account with Noob Sabat fully maxed out, there will be some options at kude.shop very soon where you can get pre-made accounts. We just try to dodge that. Alright, he's probably going to use SP2. Oh my gosh! Will this be able to take him out? Just just literally using this and not even going through his block? <laughs> we didn't even go through his block. <laughs> well also, yes, I'm a fan of the third victory stance. Not the last one. I have the last victory stance for Noob Sabot, but I am not using it. It is trash. Okay? It's trash. I don't I don't like it. I'll, I'll put it on display so you can see what it looks like, but it's just... No. He just goes whoop, 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 and then it just goes like that in slow motion. It's so boring. I don't like that. Okay. Well, let's shred through this team here. Let's see what Snoop Saba does alone. First off, his incoming attack destroys some... Not even having to put any effort into this at all. I can just tap a couple of times and they're just all dead. Boom. Easy. Done. Game over. <laughs> if you have any of these brutality equipments, just even at fusion level 1, try them on Noob Sidebot. I know you probably don't have Noob Sidebot fully maxed out, but it really increases his damage and his health to an insane degree. Alright. Boss MK11 Nightwolf, Boss MK11 Raiden, and Boss MK11 Scorpion. We've already taken a look at this fight, and we've already actually fought it before, but we're going to do it again and get the reward this time. Let's put Noob Cyber exactly where he's at. Don't change him. If I change him, then we might have some issues. So let's hop into this. Okay, I'm thinking about using SP2 straight away to stun Nightwolf. Oh, wait, crap. That's not going to go through his block. Damn it. Uh, all right, let's just try to soak him. Oh, we're snared. 
We probably will die. Yep, brutality. We're dead. We still gonna do the incoming attack damage? Yep, okay, nice. Using SP2 isn't going to be very useful because my SP2 doesn't do very much damage, but I want to show it off so you guys can get a feel for what it actually looks like to bring in my little sub-servant. He has a lot of health, but it still doesn't do very much damage, which is why I don't like this version of Noob Cybot. Just for me, right now, for this boss battle, it's not useful because we have a time limit. Alright, let's try to take out... Scorpion here. Oh, we might be able to take out Scorpion. Nice. Trying to see if we can get right in. We apply Death Mark. Can we get one game? Oh, yes. We have blind. Not what we want. Of course, we, no one would ever want blind. Actually, wait, no. Jade. No, Jade doesn't want blind. She wants to cast it. Come on. We just have to get one hit. Oh. Okay. Scorpion's gonna tag in. That's fine. Oh, SP1 is crippled. Oh, come on. Dang it. I should use SP2. I'm sorry. Okay, but this battle was not that difficult. With Noob Saipod fully maxed, it only took two attempts. And oh, Gray, a your personal offer for a win. Oh man, this is just because I lost two games. So, it wants to give me this stupid offer. Oh my gosh. I don't really like those offers at all. It's so annoying. But, whatever, what can you do? Alright. Let's hop into this and finish this off. We should be able to, although Nightwolf is still a pain to deal with because of the snare he applies on SP1 and just the fact that his block breaker is really irritating for this me. This time, let's actually apply SP1. Or not SP1, SP2. Try to stun him. He shouldn't be stunned immune. No, he's not. Nice. Try to get SP1 on Noob Saibot. Don't use SP1 on us. Nice. Oh, this is so going to kill him. We already have blind. Oh no. Cripple resisted. Oh nice. I wanted to get brutality. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what the reward is for Tower 200. Black Dragon Gabal. Okay. That's cool. So guys, that's going to wrap up this video. 
And if you win the tower, you get another offer. And it's a 3% chance for Classic Rain, 6% chance for Classic Liu Kang, 6% chance for Classic Raiden, and an 85% chance for a random diamond card. Does this include Nightwolf? I highly doubt it, because Nightwolf isn't in this tower, and I don't think he's going to be in the Fatal Tower. They wouldn't do that normally. So, <laughs> your personal offer for a win. More like completing the tower. I mean, that's kind of silly to be like, your personal offer for a win when you have literally completed the tower. What do you mean by win? All right. We got Black Dragon Cabal, which is on the third row here. But this is all we could have received, but we didn't. Well, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. This Earthrealm Tower is okay, but I just wish they would have had an epic at the end. And I know there's a fatal for the epic at the end, but I still just wish there was an epic on the normal. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, peace out.